Hello everybody, I am Bob. Today's video is going to be rather big. I've wanted to keep this video as raw as possible, so here is footage of me downloading, naming, and importing all the textures I will be using. Which can be found in the description Discord server. While for professional use you may be better off using a dedicated texturing software like Substance Painter or Quixel, Armor Paint, etc., this tutorial is covering the design aspects of what textures to use and where. As well as giving insight on how you can effectively place your textures. I personally believe sci-fi is one of the more demanding styles on Roblox which brings me to PBRs which I've already made a video dedicated to them and normal maps and how they can optimize your builds without compromising on quality. Sped this up because I ran out of text. Now that we have all of our textures imported, which can be found in the Discord server, it's time to discuss our next step, which is referencing, or at least finding a general idea of what you want to make, which can entirely be within your imagination, but obviously I can't show you that in a video, can I? This portion is fairly easy, this is just deciding our general structure, this is usually decided the second you place your third part, though that's just the idea, not the finished product. In sci-fi, it is very common to have lots of iterations, as you can see here I am messing around with the textures, seeing how I can use them to my advantage with just a few parts. It's worth mentioning that overcrowding will not look good, and I'm sure you've heard this before. But trust the process. Seriously, it makes a difference, you can't expect butter from milk straight out of the cow, right? Forgive me for that analogy, it didn't make sense. Anyway, a big part of sci-fi ISNT just how you utilize your textures, but it's how you texture your geometry. As you see soon, I add depth to the walls and make it as deep as I can with just these at my disposal. I am making it longer because if we made a hallway segment this short then it would become far too repetitive. Copy-pasting in sci-fi can be pretty important, but it's more important not to overdo it or make it too dense. This can give off a far too repeated theme and make it look bad. You can use the textures and other parts as detailing to give it more flat depth and more diversity in color and texture, I'm using this to act as a dividing role to show where the hallway segment ends, making the depth more defined and prominent, this means being more visible and appreciated by the average eye. Here I am adding pillars to divide the portions of the hallway, I do end up changing how these look for something nicer, again I think the biggest takeaway here is to trust the process and do trial and error. While recording this video I stepped away, stopped recording, and restarted things multiple times. Interior sci-fi lighting can be tricky, but in most, Cases you do just want to make everything outside as dark as possible and rely on interior lighting points like I am here. While it's important to trust the process, it is a good idea to check how things might look later on and predict your next plan of action, you can see here I've duplicated it over to see how it would look, and if I like it I can continue on the singular part one have now. I've explained this concept in older videos but it's important to make modular sets of things like hallway segments, these can make it easier to build later on in the long run. I've said it enough but this is the last mention of it, try and make multiple iterations if you don't like how it's come along. Here I am messing around with the pillar structure. I do end up redoing it multiple times and that is okay. Because it does not look good the first time around. Sometimes it might, but it's worth retrying if you are unsure of the quality. I think it is worth discussing the different types of sci-fi. In this build I am doing a more dirtier, dystopian sci-fi, which typically tends to be more accessible in terms of public textures. But there are cleaner sci-fi, which are easier if you know what you're doing, maybe I'll make a video about other types of sci-fi if this gets enough views and likes. By this point I've come to my final iteration of the pillars on the side, and it's really pressing how important it is to utilize your textures and use them in ways you might not realize is possible, definitely the definition of thinking outside the box in most cases. I chose this one simply because it seems to fit as a backing texture, and as I mentioned earlier, I add depth by giving it truss support structure geometry, this is a prime example of giving geometric texture, accentuation, and depth.
I personally had no clue how I was going to use this greeble texture. But I think I found a pretty unique use for it. Starting back where we left off, 5 hours later. It is important to take breaks and remember where you left off. With our beams, it's a great idea to make them connect at the top so that we can seal off our segments, like so. I believe wedges are the best part in Roblox, they are very versatile and can do so much, they can add bevels to walls and parts without using proprietary unions as well as just help you detail, they are convenient, so use them well. Sometimes, textures just fit. They fit into the part and look natural, and when this happens it's sort of the best feeling, though it's best when you make them fit custom, but this is the second best feeling. I think this top beam is a prime example of the term, more is less. Watch, I don't use many parts at all, yet it feels fuller if it has a fully connecting part going around, we can use this to help structure our roof and walls later on. In hindsight, you can probably change the smaller details such as the little doors I made at the bottom when copy pasting, but it's not all that important for things like this. I've already explained most key points, I will just speed up from this point onwards and slow down when something important needs to be shown. But I will go over some of the things we learnt, so please keep watching. This video so far has mentioned, how to use textures, alternatives to texturing inside of studio, what references to use specifically for sci-fi, most importantly, to be open-minded about design choices, things might not look good at first, but it takes trial and error. More on detailing, you can use things you've already made and turn them into new things, recycling assets and models, using things and being creative and intuitive, all it takes to be better than the rest is to think about how to be better than the rest. That should go on a t-shirt. In case you forgot, we are talking about reusing models, and I sort of blocked it, but I'm using the beveled parts one made for the window to make a fence slash railing, this railing holds detail too because it's accentuating depth to our build, say it with me, adding depth makes builds better. I'm also adding little spots on the railing where they intersect, believe it or not, this is also adding depth. Are we seeing how important this might be? Good. We can duplicate it over, however in most cases you could make one side of the wall flat with no window, but I'm lazy. Are we starting to grasp how easy building is? I won't be educating you on the lighting in this scene, simply because. It is purely black, everything is black, I have a dedicated video for lighting properties and how to fit your scene, however for sci-fi, 9 times out of 10, it is indeed just black. As for the interior lighting, that heavily depends on your style of building, though rule of thumb, stick to orangey, purple, or even green colors, sciency colors, but it depends on what you like. This next part is optional, but when it comes to environmental art, you should always add life to your scene outside of the playable area. This makes your map feel much larger than it is and makes it feel like there is a life outside of your environment. In making a simple reactor core sort of thing in the middle, it holds no significant purpose but it can look cool, I'm aware it's low quality. More changes are being made, I decided a less bright red would look nice, as I said earlier, oranges are a good color for neutrals in sci-fi, red was a bit extreme. 
It is now time to expand our scene just a little, close it off, by adding large doors we can really finish the segmented look that sci-fi has, where everything seems to be made that way, we can make large doors, this is up to personal interpretation, however I will be using previously mentioned techniques in this video, such as strategically using textures and reusing finds I've already made and recycling them. You can also duplicate textures in material service and make a small variant of them to fit into tighter spaces. Here is an example of reusing things as other things, it doesn't actually fit but I just wanted to make a point here. To make things look good, you can also make them make sense, here I'm adding a slot for the doors to actually slide on, if it looks like it makes sense, it will look cooler. For sci-fi, big Baldron doors specifically fit this style I think, it gives it an industrial grungy look. You can see me adding reinforcements to the door, this is also adding depth to my build, giving it more detail. We can simply duplicate this to make our scene, fairly simple stuff. Woohoo, we are done with that, now we can do something called cluttering, but I am too lazy to make assets right now so I'll just make these and pretend they are crates. Though, another instance where using textures can look good as intended. You can place these down naturally to act as clutter or blocks, however I won't be educating you on where and how to place these down, I have a video on environmental art, and if you're watching this you don't need my basic tutorial. We are now officially done with our sci-fi hallway, but now let's see how we can present this properly. If you test or go in-game, you can press Shift P to use FreeCam, and to make your presentation even better, you can add a sound or music overlay, though try to make it match the scene, not just any music. Thank you for watching, please like and subscribe.